Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com and that right there is 2020-2021 Panini Mosaic Soccer. This is the UEFA Euro Edition. One spot gets you two countries each, so that's pretty good. And all cards ship. Big thanks to this group here for making this happen. Let's double it up. And there are the teams right there. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. Six and a five, 11 times are names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and 11th and final time. After 11, there's 11 right there. We've got Robert all the way down to Joe. Oh, is that, that's a school. Before Har I know I'm familiar with Harvard Westlake. I'm just not familiar with Montclair. Oh, nice. That Harvard Westlake team was pretty crazy too. It's, it's Max Freed, Jack Flaherty maybe. And one more person that I'm blanking on, Giolito perhaps. All right, there's 11, 11 times for the countries. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And final time. After eleven, we got Portugal. Nice. Down to Finland. All right. So Robert with Portugal. Larry, you got a lot of teams here: Slovakia, Hungary, Germany, Switzerland, Croatia, Sweden. Robert with Russia and Austria. Larry with Italy. Joe with the Netherlands. William with Turkey. Robert with the three Lions, England. Larry with Ukraine and Denmark. Robert with Scotland and Poland. David O, Wales and France. Larry, Czech Republic and Belgium. William, North Macedonia. Larry with Spain. And Joe with Finland. All right, so let's get all this on one screen right here. Let's sort by data menus changed. Okay, I got it. I just want to alphabetize. Oh no, I have to go to another layer here? That's kind of a hassle. Can't I just have it right here? And where I... Just Google, making it making things harder for me. All right, <laughs> tough times, first world problems. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm gonna pause the video is what I'm gonna do and allow people to, to trade if they want to. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades and then we'll have the two box break. Stick around, be right back. All right, welcome back everybody. No deals were done, so that list remains the same. Thanks everybody for joining the action. Let's pop these boxes open and let's see, let's see what we can pull out of here. going on today we had a uh, we had Champions League action happening today let's see if there was any were there any crazy upsets or anything like that I think my club plays tomorrow uh, Chelsea won Man United Cristiano Ronaldo saving Man United again 2-2 draw with Atalanta. Looks like Bayern Munich cruised. Barcelona beat Kiev 1-0. Juventus 4-2. Looks like they're cruising. Right, so still still early days in uh still early days. I think tomorrow Liverpool plays Atletico Madrid. That should be a good match. Good luck, everybody. I'm 
Uh, Diago Jota, who I like because he's, he's a Liverpool guy. That goes to Robert in Portugal. Should be one autograph per box. Let's see who we can find in here. An all card ship, of course. Uh, no, I, I don't think Evan is in today. I think Jesse is on whatnot tonight. Ooh, and we got Miroslav Klose. Nice one for Germany. That is for, uh, that's for Larry. And we've got a Cristiano Ronaldo. Back with Man United. Another one for Portugal. as well, 33 out of 49, also for Germany. Nothing too crazy in the first box. Let's see what's in the second one. Anthem. I'll give it. I'll give it forty stars out of fifty. I, I kind of want a little little musical accompaniment in the background. Why do you think? We, why do? You, why do we do the solo singer anthem? What if the entire crowd did it? Wouldn't that be a cool anthem? Can places do that? They'll be like, hey, everyone sing along. Can you imagine? I think that would be a cool thing to do. Somewhere along the line, we've just gotten used to just having a group or a single person do it. But get what about some fan involvement? Jaden Sancho, Jack Grealish, couple of uh, England players there, England youngsters coming up the ranks. Robert with that one. Might be big favorites in the guys like Declan Rice and everything. These guys might be favorites in the World Cup next year. They have a pretty good showing in, in the Euros this summer. I 
don't know if those base cards still hold as much weight as they as they did when the set first came out, but obviously a lot of these players worth taking a look at. And maybe some of those rookie parallels, they grade out nicely, could be nice. And even some of the random players that you don't even know. I mean, any one of these players could have a hot tournament next year in the World Cup. And that might boost your value more than you expect. And there's Bruno Fernandes, nice. For Portugal. Cristiano's teammate, both on the international team and now on the club team. And uh, that is Robert Runkle with Portugal. Nice. He's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Last little bit here. Let's see if we can find any parallels. There are some parallels. Here's a numbered parallel. Yeah, there we go. 95 out of 99. That's Marcel Sabitzer for Austria. And that'll go to Robert. And that, my friends, is that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. A lot of uh, low-key great value in soccer. So check it out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. And um, we'll do some more footy with you next time. Bye-bye.